gonna be sick. <gasps> Come down, Polly. Ow, 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 ow. ow. Just close your eyes. <laughs> I've got it. Okay. <laughs> ow! <clears throat> Jesus, Becca, you couldn't have been a bit more gentle. You're gonna be a real shit nurse if you make your patients scream like that. Oh, how many times do I have to tell you I'm not gonna be a nurse? I'm gonna be a surgeon and mm -hmm. a good one too. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry I haven't taken any classes on helping dumbasses. Hey! Maybe I should though. <laughs> I'm just saying that you need to try a new career path. Or at least I have a career path. You can't say that much. Ouch, dude, you didn't have to go that far. Sorry, Tamara got the best of me. I didn't really mean it like that. Love you. Love you too. Ooh, I want the pot of purse this time. Whatever. Can't believe your parents get the stuff for free. <laughs> That's what happens when you work in the fashion industry. These companies are dying to show off their latest designs. It's basically like free advertising. Hmm, that's whack. I don't get it. But I'll still come over to your closet and read it any day of the week. <laughs> Works for me. I heard Camden's throwing a party tonight. Uh, what? No, he isn't. He promised his dad he wouldn't while he's gone. <laughs> oh, baby, it's happening all right. Justine texted me earlier today. Half of Kingston High knows that it's going to be there. Absolutely not. Oh my god, you can't say no. No. Yes. It's right by your house anyways. Just walk me in and introduce me. That's all I need. A way in. This new guy, Matt. He managed to work his way to the top of the social hierarchy in days. Days. I have to meet him. It's literally going to change my life. This is going to be a life-changing party, Bex. No. <laughs> yes! Okay, look. I'm not going to tell you this again. Chad and I are going downstairs to the theater to watch some boring war movie that he's been dying to watch. <laughs> Don't knock. We'll probably be fucking and <sighs> if you knock it out, definitely be weird. Christ, Becca, I didn't need to know that. Y'all are nasty. Shit, Chad's coming over. Oh, wh well, what's the plan with Matt? Um, Camden's with Matt. Um, go say hi. Now's your chance. Uh, I'll ruin <laughs> <coming. laughs> Carly Becker's friend, these are my boys! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Carl, this is Matt. He transferred to Kern High. He's the fucking homie. Dude, Matt's seriously the plug. He has anything you can ever want. Speaking of... Ta-da! Down the hatch, motherfuckers. Let's get this party going! <laughs>
Stop, pretend you didn't. I have everything under control. Let me get her into my truck. Driver, bro. Oh my god, holy shit! Thank you! Where am I? Welcome to my crib. Here, come on. Let's get you warmed up. Save your ass back there, can this place? We weren't looking so hot, so I brought you back here to do some impromptu medical shit. Hit you with that Narcan and we'll bam, back to life. You really live out here? Yep. My folks, they got in a pretty nasty situation. They were all caught up in the drug ring out here and ended up trying a little bit too much of their own product and overdosing in some random ass apartment in the city. Don't be sad. It's all right. I've moved on. They weren't great company anyways. Besides, they left me their stash in this trailer so I can continue their legacy for them, I guess. It's not very glamorous, but I get by. I hope you don't mind me asking, but how do you afford to pay for Kern? I'm sure selling your parents' stash doesn't cover even half the cost of a private school like that. I had a feeling you might ask that. My girlfriend, Shayla, comes from money. Normally that doesn't bother me, but her parents found out about my living situation and were unnerved, to say the least. They offered to pay for me to transfer to Kern and cover the lot. I was against it at first, but they were pretty insistent. Only condition is that I don't use. And I haven't. Clean for two years. But I still sell, big time. Sheila's folks don't know, and if they ever found out, they'd never let me see her again. It's the only way I know how to survive, though. Even though I don't use anymore, I still have to wake up every day knowing that I'm responsible for every other kid in this damn town using and ruining their lives. 
What can you do? Sorry, I should probably... Oh, yeah. Let's get you out of here. Did you drive drunk earlier? No. I told you I'm clean. You know, sometimes things that look really fucking bad on the outside aren't always what they seem. The illusion of choice disappears when you don't have the resources to do the alternative. Do you love her? What? Shayla, do you love her? What kind of question is that? I, I don't know, it was just, of course just a question. I love her. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life. I risk it all just to make her happy. Lord knows I already have. You gonna marry her? Get out of here. Matt, I can't thank you enough for all that you've done for me. Don't worry about it. It's all part of the job. The answer is yes, by the way. I'm going to marry the fuck out of this girl. She's the only person that's ever made me happy in my entire life. No way I'm letting that go. Not that that's any of your business. Me.